Hey and welcome to the Marble Machine Piano version tutorial. I have tried to make this tutorial easy to follow even if you don't read sheet music. But for you who read sheet music we have made this PDF file and there's a link in the description below. And we also made a MIDI file which you can import to any music software and practice along with in any tempo you like or use to remix the song or anything. So there's also a MIDI file there. Okay, a good approach when trying to learn a whole piece of music is to break it down into smaller pieces. And to make it easier I have divided the song into three pieces. It's part one, part two and part three. And if we start to look at part one, we can break it down into even smaller pieces by starting with only the left hand. So let's start with part one, left hand. And we're also going to start in a very slow tempo, 80 beats per minute. Well done! Um, so next part is uh, part one, right hand in 80 BPM. Okay, so here comes the real test and that's to put the hands together at the same time. So let's do part one, both hands, 80 BPM.
Moving on to part two, left hand, 80 BPM. Part two, the right hand, 80 BPM. Amazing. Uh, it's so fun because I can't play this song. That's why Evelina plays it in the video. <laughs> I'm very impressed with all of you who get this together. It's actually not so easy, this one. The first part is quite manageable. The second part is quite the two brain halves like fight each other with the fingers going different directions in the different hands. So, well. I wish you good luck, good luck. Part two with both hands at the same time, 80 BPM, good luck.
the last part, part 3, left hand, 80 BPM. Three right hand is uh, maybe it helps to know because it's the same melody as in part one but there is another note on all the two and the fours of the music like one two three four dun 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 I put that into the arrangement to resemble the the rhythm of the left hand in part one like the dun gang Gang, gong, gang, gang. So you would still have this arpeggio going, but still a uh, resemblance of the 2 4 snare kind of rhythm in part 3. Part 3, right hand. Good luck. Well done, now only one more part, part 3, both hands, 80 BPM. Very well done to have gotten this far into the tutorial. We're now going to play the whole song and we're taking up the tempo from 80 BPM to 90 BPM.
fantastic. When I try to learn to play something that feels hard, I always practice it super slow. So I would give the advice to practice even slower than this and then just increase the tempo a little bit at a time. So now we're going to increase from 90 BPM to 105 BPM. The whole song, both hands. Good luck. You made it all the way to here in the tutorial. I'm very, very impressed. Um, this is the final ultimate test. Can you make what Evelina did? BPM bits per minute is 123. That's about the original tempo of the recording. And here we go. Good luck.
Okay, well done. We are really looking forward to seeing your versions in interpretations of this song. On some end notes, I can say that I have not covered the use of the sustain pedal at all. As a rule of thumb, you can say that every time there's a new chord, like you can see in the score when there comes a new chord, you should let go of the sustain pedal and press it again. The sustain pedal is very important in this piece that you're using it to make the piano uh, flow. And I'm not a piano player and I'm very bad with the sustain pedal, so I just left that out until now. On another side note is that uh, the middle part of this and the ending part of this piece is not easy. It's not really a beginner's level piano playing. But I think if you start with the first piece, the part one, and then uh, like really attack the part two slow, super, super slow, and with one hand at a time, there will come a moment when the brain like puts everything together and allows the finger to go in different directions uh, simultaneously. And I think it can be an amazing feeling when you crack that piece in the middle there. I'm gonna be very impressed hearing hearing all you people play it. So So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Really hope it helped you and that it worked and that it was easy to follow. Good luck. Bye.